Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cold for the summer So There are a few people That just Frost me to no end There's a few people on YouTube That just frost me to no end and typically, I don't really like to spend a whole lot of time bitching about other YouTubers. And particularly, just, I don't like to spend a whole lot of time bitching about things that are in social media anyway. And so when it comes down to me actually having to do something, particularly in the field of social media and the community that I'm involved with, YouTube is definitely saying something. Now it also comes down to it that there's a few people within the YouTube community that I would actually start a war with, that I would actually end up getting very political on, and frankly having to coin a, for a term, uh, you know, comparable with fascism, but in this case the, there is one individual in particular, well there's a few individuals in particular, but this particular individual is, how can I say this? This particular individual is psychotic. This particular individual has a serious psychological problem. This person in, that I'm referring to is, in, in, this particular person needs serious help. And I hope that this person see, you know, sees the negativity and the just the sheer volume of uh, of people that believe that he needs to seek help because the overall community has deemed this person as psychotic, as a loner, and as definitely someone who definitely needs to seek help, and is something that is someone who is in his viewpoints is a despicable human being. I hope this person seeks out this help. I hope this person listens to the overall community and actually seeks the help that he deserves. However, it is one of those things where his current viewpoints and what he has done has called into question not only his mental sanity, but the legality in what he has done. I am of course referring to vegan gains. Now, this being said, this young man, from what, from what was being said, literally was out in a park with his grandfather, and they were, I don't know, flying toy drones or something like that, and whatnot. The, the case of the matter being that they were going through this very large park and pretty much the the grandfather in his old age he was about 82 was being overexerted was being exhausted and you know was suffering from signs that well I would compare to exhaustion heat exhaustion possibly heat stroke and when they got back to his hat to the to their home the grandfather uh, ended up collapsing and this young man proceeded to call 911 now that's all well and good you understood the signs but then proceeded to film his father his grandfather having a heart attack and then used that vi and then posted that video on YouTube on his channel now from what I have understood I believe that video has now been taken down but I believe it was thankfully somebody mirrored the son of a bitch before anything else happened this individual used his grandfather's basically filmed his grandfather dying and posted it on YouTube when he, his father, grandfather died, he did not really express any remorse. 
rather using his grandfather's death as exploitation an exploitation that he used to further his veganism this young man has such a militant view on veganism tantamount to that of freely the banana Nazi and he literally exploits his grandfather's death to continue to further his militant vegan ideology. And I refer to it, yes, as an ideology. And it's not just a lifestyle. It's not just a dietary choice. He is, people like this make this a ideology. And an ideology that I would basic that I basically would coin as not only as basically as vegan fascism or, or veganism uh, fascist veganism interchangeably they can be used either way but yes vegan veganist fascism fascist veganism whatever which one you want to coin militant veganism any of that. It's all basically the same shit. These are people that use that, that basically the the whole concept of veganism itself becomes not only a dietary choice and a lifestyle, but it becomes a religion and it becomes an ideology. It literally permeates their own. It it literally becomes their socio political viewpoint. It literally becomes the very focal point of their very lives. Now, typically, a lot of these fascist vegans tend to be first worldists. In that, as I said with the issue with Freely, they are first worldists who could give less of a damn about you or I. They could give less of a damn about starving third world children or third world children that are being bombed and, and shot at and killed in other countries. They could give a less of a damn about that. They, do you think that they even give a damn about anything going on in, you know, Ukraine right now between the fighting between the fascist government there and uh, and the uh, Nova Russia? No, they could give less of a damn. Do you think they give a crap about the people of Greece who are suffering because of the austerity measures and the crippling debt crisis that is slowly turning that country towards fascism? No, they don't give a crap about any worldly sort of problems that are going on. They don't give a damn about, it, about the suffering children go in Africa or starving people in, in any third world country. They could give a less of a damn about the people that are starving to death and suffering in our own country. Because to them, they're just people that, well, if they would have just made a better lifestyle, if they would have turned to veganism, everything would have been okay. That, that, that's like literally their response to everything. That if someone dies of a heart attack, it was because, oh, they didn't live a vegan lifestyle. This is proof of it. Here, here see this, see this, see this. This is why veganism is the best. See this? That's, that, that is exactly the very mentality that these people have. That everything points back to veganism. I could kind of almost describe this in comparison to the Westboro Baptist Church and how basically everything that they fight against, their whole Calvinist stance being pretty all coming back to the idea that gay people are, you know, that being homosexual is a sin and that gay people are, you know, the devil and blah, blah, blah. That is basically is pretty much the same thing that vegans are doing. It's using this these complete non sequiturs to try to connect, you know, to, to falsely connect dots and point out that they are, you know, that somehow their way is the right way. And literally, they are the same sort of in individuals, just different parts of a spectrum. And see, this brings up a whole new level of what we go into the bourgeois liberal stance. This is what we like to also call liberal despotism. Liberal, you know, 
um, what would you call it, liberal authoritarianism or authoritarian liberalism. This is where, much like any sort of ideology, conservative, communist, whatever, there can be a, signs of authoritarianism. In this case, I would sincerely go on the, the high end in the authoritarian liberals being people like the ELF, the ALF, and people like vegans, or militant vegans anyway, the fascist vegans. Because these are literally people that take their core ideology, that literally take they're, that they take this this whole idea of trying to save the planet, trying to you know save the lives of animals, save the environment, but they take it to such you know to such extremes that it literally becomes basically semi -ter terroristic, sometimes even becomes terrorism itself, and literally tries to instill this whole idea of fear and intimidation scare tactics, fear-mongering, and essentially trying to coerce people into you know, joining their cause, which is very much the definition of fascism, because these are people that literally try to use their, use, use their ideology, their lifestyle, and to try to force it on others. And they use that to, and, and they use that through, you know, the, they try to force motivate you into joining their their cause. Now, I have nothing against veganism. I have nothing against vegetarianism. I have nothing wrong against anybody wishing to make a different dietary choice. It's when you start shoving your choice down the throats of other people, saying that people that do not follow your ideology should fucking die, and quite literally, that's what Freely and uh, Vegan Gains and so, and a lot of these other very fascist vegans end up put forcing down people's throats. They literally say that if you're not vegan, that you should die, and that we should convert our entire planet over to a vegan, to vegan agriculture. And it's quite so. It's quite literally almost the same thing. It's, you know, join. You know, be become vegan or die, and. <laughs> And or and uh, join our cause because you're sinning and you need to repent and blah blah blah. The end is near. You know, God hates you know what and blah blah blah. Same shit, different can. It is literally the same thing. And yes, I am comparing the ve vegan gains to basically Fred Phelps. I am comparing freely the banana Nazi to pretty much Shirley Phelps Roper. I am literally comparing these idiots to the very f most fascist organizations that can be possible. The only difference between them is right and left. Except the only problem is, is that once you've basically started pretty much voicing your your dietary lifestyle choices and forming it into a socio-political view in which you shove it down the throats of people start claiming that they should die if they don't you know become vegan and many other different just outrageous assertions and claims and all sorts of bullshit that is when you've literally bordered to the point where your liberal views really have skewed all the way to the right wing. You have literally gone full right wing. And as a liberal, you should know that you should never go full right wing. Now, that being said, these individuals who continue to lobby for a vegan lifestyle and stuff like that, good, fine, if that's what you want to do, do that. Do not shove it down the throats of people that do not want to. You, All you're doing is basically pandering a socio-political ideology, socio-political bullshit at people who don't give a shit. 
if someone wants to become vegetarian or wants to become vegan, they will do that on their choice of free will. And I believe even Freely said something about free will, which I thought was funny and hypocritical considering what she was doing. But it's like, we all have free will. Thus, if we want to make the free will to eat meat and plants together, thus being omnivores, that is our choice. If we want to eat leaves and sticks and other crap, that is our choice. And if you want to give up all sorts of crap because it's, you know, completely animal cruel, you know, uh, animal cruel free, that is your choice. It is when you start force feeding that bullshit to people that do not want to, that, that to people that don't want it shoved in their faces and basically trying to guilt trip them into joining your fucking cause that you really should back the fuck off when they tell you to, well, back the fuck off. You're not going to get anywhere by force feeding it down people's throats. Have you not learned from the Westboro Baptist Church? Have you not learned from right-wing Christianity? Have you not learned from any religion that tries to force feed that shit down people's throats? Get over it. Everybody lives a different lifestyle. Everybody lives by different choices. Everybody has that free will. And if they have that free will to make those choices, then don't try to make their choices for them. Don't, do not try to alter their or coerce and fear monger their choices. Respect their choices and move on. Do not criticize. Do not say that they need to die because of their choices. Move on. And this also goes to quite a lot of those people out there, especially to one individual. Um, I want to say his name was... I don't, I don't even know. But anyway, he was basically making this whole point in saying that this other vegan didn't wasn't being enough of a vegan, basically. He wasn't be, being a hardcore enough vegan when... He got cancer. And this individual then went on the rampage saying that this individual deserved cancer because he wasn't being a, a hardcore enough vegan. That he basically wasn't vegan enough. And see, this brings me to another point that I'll get to in a minute. But first of all, that is one of the most cruelest aspects, mo most cruelest things that I think I heard anybody in this debate say that someone deserves cancer because they didn't because the lifestyle that they share with you wasn't hardcore enough or wasn't that they weren't doing it right in some case and yet they deserve to die to, that they deserve this terminal illness that they deserve to basically die because of that that is that is probably the utmost outrageous, hideous, despicable, and fascist thing I have ever heard anybody say. Because these people absolutely sicken me. These people are probably the lowest scum I have ever fucking had to deal with. These are the lowest... These people actually fall... To, that's why I've said that these are the people that fall within the aspects of Westboro Baptist Church. They are the lowest forms of scum to planet Earth. That they literally go out spewing an, almost an equal message of hate. That they almost that they go out there and start spewing this ideological bullshit for for nothing more than to continue to expand their numbers to expand their ideology to coerce and fear monger people and to make people feel guilty I mean really what is the difference between someone like Freely and Vegan Gains spouting that these pe that people that don't that don't turn to a vegan lifestyle should die and an Islamic extremist pointing a gun at someone's head saying convert or die What's the difference? 
What's the difference between them and the Christian crusaders that pointed their, you know, that pointed their weapons at people six, seven hundred years ago and told them to convert or die? Do you even realize that to sustain a vegan dietary lifestyle for the entire planet, let's just say for the sake of humor to, for these people, we do do that. You do realize that by doing so, you'd ha end up having to kill off basically half to 60% of this planet because and the only way and because the only way to sustain some sort of vegan lifestyle and dietary supplement for the human population would also require that pretty much most of the human population starve to death. And even if we were finally able to succeed in doing that and we lost about 60 to 70 percent of the population, it's one of those things where you still have to worry about all kinds of other crap. You have to worry about the fact that as human beings we wouldn't be getting the proper nutrition that we're supposed to get. We are hunters and gatherers. We've always been known to have meat in our diets. Without meat, we have no protein. We start lacking in vitamins and minerals that are much needed for the human cons for human consumption. It is also most likely that your supposed ideal that you live longer is a complete and utter facade because there's a good chance that because of our lack because the fact we would be lacking in such you know sufficiency that most likely we would also have weakened immune systems and I can also go into the whole idea about what causes cancer being a vegan does not mean that you're not going to get cancer people who who it doesn't matter if you're vegan or if you're an omnivore it doesn't even matter if you eat nothing but meat it doesn't matter anybody can have can get cancer there's genetic you can be genetically predisposed um, you know the environment the, the what's in our air the carcinogens in our air pollution those play a part you know exposure you know different exposures to different things in our jobs and our schools there, there's so many things that I could go into that could cause cancer and then there's sometimes there's not even a cause for it I'm sorry to say that but there's not and to say that somebody that, that somebody who who, who to say that somebody deserves that is absolutely sickening. To say that somebody... That, to, 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 say, to say that somebody deserves any sort of terminal illness is disgusting. <clears throat> and much less the fact that somebody would exploit someone's death to further their socio-political and sociopathic fucking ideology. That sickens me to death. People like Vegan Games, I literally think, like for instance, Vegan Games, let me focus back on his attention. Vegan Games, I literally think, videoed that and took it down. He, he literally videoed that because he was proud of what he did. And what did he do? He literally exhausted his grandfather to death. He murdered his own grandfather. He, he literally... He's smart enough to know that his grandfather was old enough that if he exhausted exhausted and pushed him beyond his limits that the exhaustion would just seem like natural causes that this heart attack was just natural causes and he videoed this 
basically as a trophy of his victory. He later took it down, but people like Mr. Repsion th and other people thankfully mirrored the son of a bitch and put it on YouTube, and then proceeded to expose him for the monster that he was. And when that happened, what did, what, what did Vegan Gaines do? He threatens the life of Mr. Repsion himself, saying that he would slit Mr. Repsion's throat with basically a, a small pocket knife. Number one, you're just a psychotic pussy, but much less the fact that you also threaten someone's life, no matter what the weapon was, threatening someone's life is technically a violation of the Glorious Patriot Act. You know, that piece of fascist legislation that uh, the U.S. government passed right after 9-11? Yeah, if you live in the United States, which I, I'm pretty sure Vegan Gaines does, I believe he is American, if under... U.S. law, what you did is considered making a terrorist threat. Because you were making a threat over the internet, threatening someone's life. That is a form of terrorism. But then again, I can't really, I really can't see anything less coming from someone like you, Vegan Gaines, because you are a fascist vegan. So, you know, fascism and terrorism just seem to go together hand in hand and making threats and trying to scare people and stuff like that. That's just all part of your game. I'm not afraid of your pussy ass. I really am not. You can threaten my life all you want. You could say that you want that if you could find me, you'd come slit my throat too. Come bring it, bitch. You think you're so big and tough talking, you know, all this shit. And you're not. Everyone knows you're a fucking pussy. It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Think I'm scared of you? I've had people from the clan, tougher people than you, who've made death threats at me, and I'm not afraid of them either. I'm not afraid of people who use fear and intimidation and terrorist tactics against... Uh, who... who threaten my life. I'm not afraid of those people. So what makes you think that I'm afraid of some skinny ass motherfucker on YouTube? Someone who panders a, a socio-political fascist I ideology and lifestyle. Who panders you know his exploit who exploits death for his own fucking ideology. I'm not afraid of you. I don't see why anybody should be afraid of you. I think personally you should be ashamed of yourself for what you've done and for all the bullshit that you've said. And I think personally that you should serve some time for what you've done. Because you were a murderer and you were a... Well, frankly, you were a terrorist because you make terrorist threats. And most of all, you were a fascist. And I am not afraid to say that, because all of which are true. Vegan Gaines also goes on to say that he got that when his grandfather's funeral came around, he didn't want to go to it. I assume because he probably didn't want to have to sit around his family, who would probably judge and be very angry with him over the things that he said and also most likely what they believe much like I believe and Stephen Wolf believes that he killed one of their family members I really think that's why he didn't want to go there because he couldn't accept the pretty much the, the den of lions that he would have been walking into so what does he say? He got dragged 
to his to his grandfather's funeral. You're an ass. A real grade-A ass. As a person who lost my grandfather almost three fucking years ago, this is insulting to me. You are literally spitting in my face. You are spitting in the, in the face of anybody who has ever lost a loved one and had to deal with that death, deal with with that pain, deal with that loss. You are a disgusting individual, Vegan Gains. That you don't even feel any remorse, any pity, any responsibility, really, for your own actions. You don't feel any sort of sadness or grief over your grandfather's death. I don't know what you think he might have done to you when you were a ch when you were a child or what what caught possessed you to be such a an insane hateful and spiteful human being but frankly use the twigs for something other than than pretty much consuming or sticking up your own ass or however the hell you get your dietary supplement to you I don't, use the twigs use the twigs to build a fucking bridge and get the fuck over it while you're doing that get the fuck over trying to change other people because you're wasting your time you're not going to convert me you're not going to convert Mr. Repsion you're not going to convert Stephen Wolf and you're not going to and with the way that you're going, you're not going to probably be able to convert any more people because, frankly, I think a lot of people are finally starting to see you for what you really are. A complete and utter monster. It really gets me that these individuals are allowed to speak their mind, speak their, their hateful mantra, their manifesto, really. And I don't see it, like I just don't get it. They're no different than a fundamentalist Christian organization allowed to hate on gays simply because of who they are, who they were born as. You know, these are people that I find absolutely despicable. And yet they are allowed to do hide behind the guise of freedom of speech. I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't consider that free speech. I consider what they spout as hate speech. I mean, when you're basically attacking someone, saying that they should fucking die because of their... because that they should die because they weren't being... A hardcore enough vegan that they or causing someone to die and then exploiting their death as a way of saying that if they had just been a, converted to veganism that this wouldn't have happened very people that don't even understand basic fucking science or logic people that also make falsities and bullshit crap stating that they're that somehow their vegan ideology is justified, that their vegan that their vegan lifestyle is somehow justified, when there is absolutely no proof that veganism could benefit the human population. In fact, more so, veganism would probably be a detriment to human civilization, given the fact we would not have the right vitamins and minerals necessary for for our survival, for healthy bone growth, for everything else. No, they're only concerned with saving the lives of animals. Well, if we're actually going on this whole idea that you're trying to save precious, you know, precious life and stuff like that, then I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but then apparently the plants and other bullshit that you eat, they ha are technically living creatures too, and you're killing them. 
At the same time, we can also say that it, the people that also try to force feed their their animals um, vegan choices, such as their vegans who try to feed their dogs, cats, and birds vegan vegan diets, that will actually cause them to become weak and malnourished and possibly even die. Who's killing the animals now? Or the very fact that even let's say the people that say that even go so far that having a how you know go the PETA route saying that you know having animals like cats and dogs is just cruel and inhuman yet these are the same people that support would support an organization that is known to have about an 85 percent euthanization rate within 24 to 72 hours who literally steal dogs and cats off people's lawns some who are birthday presents for precious children and you stick them in fucking containers where they will be euthanized within the first 24 to 72 hours then stuffed in freezers in fucking trash bags I think I did something like that a few years ago when the reports came out through Anonymous and I followed it up the year after yeah, go ahead and look for those reports. I'm not just spouting bullshit here. If you have anything to actually say to me, if you have anything, if you want to debunk anything I say, go right ahead. Make my day, because I guarantee you at the end of the day, I'm going to end up owning your ass so damn bad that you will not even be able to comprehend the level of insanity that you that you've been spouting off all these years these are people that that literally believe that by eating by, by cutting out fish and and anything basically that doesn't come from an animal that they're somehow saving the animals. Yet at the same time, it seems like these are the same people that are all, that, you know, in order to preserve the vegan, the necessary vegan lifestyle, would have to cut away forests, taking away the food supplies of other animals that they claim they protect, all to support veganism, a worldwide vegan sort of diet. So once again, who's the animal killer now? I mean, t they, they don't seem to comprehend how much of a detriment to the environment, the detriment to other animals, the detriment to the human population, the detriment to the global economy, that all of this would do. They don't seem to get that. They don't understand even the huge undertaking that would be required to sustain this bullshit that they force feed down people's throats. It's just, it's absolutely insane to me. They don't, they, they, they're, they're confident enough to try to pander their dietary lifestyle, their dietary choice, and frankly the ideology that, that encompasses it. But they don't seem to really understand the context outside of, well, what veganism is and the choice that they've made. They go spouting, well, everybody should convert to veganism. Okay, please tell me how that we can sustain such a thing while maintaining the population we have now. How in the hell would we, would our economy be able to continue on in the way that it does now? Because you do realize that one of the highest, probably one of the highest parts of agricultural economy, is well meat production. You know, beef, pork, poultry, fish. You do realize that some of these are even key elements to you know regional and even national economies. For instance, Japan where fish is a large part of the national national agricultural economy a large part, part of their culture in general or what about California in which in Washington and Alaska 
where some of these areas depend upon these agricultural things. California has one of the largest, probably has one of the largest cattle farms in the United States, next to Texas. You're basically calling for pretty much the, the annihilation of certain economies. And if, in a sense, you're calling for a massive blow to the global economy. And that's another thing I'd like to point out, is that a lot of, is that most of these, most vegans, and especially most fascist vegans, do not, do not have a, any basic concept of economics. They do not have a basic concept of how this would affect gross domestic product, how this would affect the very essence of how agriculture would be affected how this would affect the popul it would affect civilization it would cripple just about every aspect of human life and human development and yet they don't understand that it's just like oh well you know veganism veganism we have to turn to veganism and I just, these are people that amaze me. They stun me. And then it's not enough to do that. Then they, they have to force it down your throat. They have to basically go so far to call people, you know, you know, say that people should die for what the, you know, for, you know, the fact that we eat, that we eat animals. And it's just, it, it's amazing to me. I I have no words that would accurately describe the absolutely fanatical fundamentalist and just plain outrageousness that these people represent. I mean, there's a reason why you get called Nazis, get called fascists, and get compared to while fundamentalist organizations because that's exactly what you are as a vegan as a person that it, it would be one thing if you could just if you would just enlighten us on what veganism is you know how you live a vegan lifestyle how you maintain blah 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 it'd be enough to just do that and shut the hell up but instead you've got to make it into this fundamentalist fucking ideology to which there's really no point, there's no basis, and there's no realistic aspects to it. There's really no realism at all to it. So do us all a favor. Stick to what you know. Stick to be, you know, to your lifestyle. Quit forcing it on others and shut the hell up. Because you just make yourself look stupid. You make yourself look psychotic. And you make yourself look like in like batshit insane fucking individuals. Stop. For the love of God, stop. My last word, basically, on all this. Vegan gains. You deserve to be put in an insane asylum for the criminally insane. You are absolutely psychotic. You need help. And frankly, I consider you a murderer, and I consider you a terrorist. You killed your grandfather, and you've made threats against Mr. Repsion and other, probably other individuals who have spoken out against you and have exposed you for the monster you are because you've seen the, the higher counts that these people have and because you can't exert the control necessary, because you can't control the aspects that have happened in this, in what have what has transpired, you then basically go on the only thing that you can do: fear, intimidation, manipulation, coercion, fascism. That is what you know. That is what you're best at. That is basically. As about as smart as you are, which is really not saying a lot, considering you are probably one of the biggest dumbasses in this particular dietary community 
that I've seen. Freely, you, whoever that other guy is that was saying the other guy deserved cancer, all, that, all of you selfish-minded, bastardized idiots are absolute, the, you monstrous thugs is basically what I can describe you as. You are, are dumbass individuals. You are insane. And frankly, you need to disappear. Shut the hell up. Grow a brain. Get the necessary B12 needed for your for your brain development, which you obviously lost due to your vegan militant vegan lifestyle. And frankly, I think that I really do think that y'all need to apologize to the individuals that you have hurt, to their families, and to your fans and the community as a whole. And vegan games, I still do believe you deserve to spend time in prison for what you have done and for the crimes you can that you have committed. I'm Norcal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been Norcal Corner. Peace. Ah!